Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I'm with the Tromp. Reawaken America Tour. It's just getting started. The calm before the storm. Is the event inside? Yes, it is. Are you kidding me? No. It is oh, going to be she, outside. I need Do you know how cold it's going to get at night? Yeah, this especially in the be, morning too. It's going to be freezing. People yeah. are going to leave. Yeah. Why yeah. is this big ass building and then sit doing out here? I don't, I don't know. Where's the speaker? I have no idea. Calm before the storm. Sage. All the vendors are setting up. Yeah, and it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold here. Look at that. bit more of a calm before the storm this is the media the media spot and as you see everybody's getting set up right now and this time tomorrow this will look crazy in here but everybody's getting set up day one we awaken america tour with the wife sergeant surge sergeant surge and his trump hat there gotta love that i see the big american flag up there it's pretty awesome
You know, I don't see uh, what's his name from 22 Kilo Coffee at these anymore. All the Trump stuff. It's nice now. I don't know. He's kind of walking around. Donna is going to do a bunch of interviews. Maybe you probably want to have you in there at some point. I'm going to be in there. I'm coming. They're locking everybody in at noon. Well, we're going to fly the media room. I guess because of Eric and security. So they lock you in. It's all the media people. They're not allowing all the media people that are interviewing to come and out in the building back there. I guess you can go through the theater, though. I mean, you can. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to get locked in there. Oh, sorry. Good see you. Bless you, man. I'm going to try to get back. Get okay. Over there. You know what? I mean, we're talking about 25% of this state was destroyed, 25 counties. A lot of people hurt now, right? And we have to think about them. So all of this comes around to where we have to take care of our country first. Thank you. And it starts right with you. So that's my... My counsel to you is to really start thinking about so, how you guys tie to yourself first and then what is going on to your team. So, so that one, um, for now, you can be around and be in all the time, right? Nobody wants to be around you. Yeah, Chris. So start, start with He's yourself walking around. first, start at home first, and then we can start to take care of the rest of the world. Now, uh, when my daughter was blind, okay. Chris, as well as for you, she said, Dad, how are they going to ship it to me? I said, we're going to ship it to you probably in like uh, FedEx or UPS. And she says, well, is it safe? I said, well, Andrew always puts a label on it that says, this is not gold. That way you keep it safe. Uh, it's, but Andrew, how does that work? How does, it, how does the shipping thing work? So, so typically we ship it by UPS or FedEx. It's um, fully insured until you sign for it. And we, we, in all these years, we've only lost one or two packages. And it's... It's a relatively safe way to do it. It's better than going and picking it up in person and keeping it in your box. It's a, it's a safe transaction. And for anybody out there watching online, anybody here in person, uh, I always want to receive physical ownership of it, physical. I want to receive the actual physical metals and not paper. Why don't I want paper documentation of gold? Why do I want to receive the physical, tangible gold? Yeah, so sometimes we have people that go to do a wire transfer at the bank and the bankers are try to talk them out of using their gold. dollars to buy gold and silver. You do this one right here? And they, they offer them something alternatively, which is a, a paper investment in gold or silver. Very Alex and Gray. those investments are oversold sometimes a hundred times over. For real? That's like yeah. if I had a house and I wanted to sell the house and I offered it for sale and sold it to a hundred different people. It's if, you, if they all wanted to sell it on the same day, there's still just one house. It's a house of Seth. So yes, you sir. need to have the physical gold and silver. Where are you at? So it, we're going to go down uh, the row here, file 30 seconds for each person. Petro. So Keith, Petro. what say yeah. you? What's your call to action here? So what's your thoughts? Okay, uh, I want to kind of change the subject a little bit. Oh, yeah. So I live in Tennessee now, but social. I lived in L.A. for like 13 Good. years. And if you're Texas. not on it, oh, I'm a get on it. Oh, it's run by yeah, my uh, dear friend Gavin Davis, who's the CEO of the company. Yeah. That's awesome. By stock through social uh, media. By, by the way, no, not on me. Stuff. No. Um, it's, it's man, this is this one's James really. James somewhere. is in the house. We're all true, true social buyers. Okay, it'll help. It'll help the whole country. And if you want to hear from Trump directly, you got yeah, I've done some Alex Gray ones. Platform. What, what Folks, kind of work do you have mostly you do? Seen, who has not seen Realism. the movie Flynn? Flynn the movie. 
Keep Are you on Instagram? Come on, yeah, folks. Yeah. Get on Amazon. Uh, yeah. It's the story of a great American. And every, I've seen that movie five times. And every time I see it, I get mad and mad and mad. Go it's a fantastic yeah. movie. If you haven't seen it, get on Amazon and buy it. One more thing. Thanks, Clay, for everything yeah, you Yeah, uh, Petro. Uh, Appreciate tattoo. you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to Clay Clark. Uh, you know, we can, I can have right, you know. like a trend. The and then we have this other tattoo artist America here, pretty awesome meeting another tattoo artist. Uh, uh, we're in the same boat, too. And he did some sick, sick work. Look, look at that. This is uh, one of the sicker ones I've seen. And obviously, it came from a tattoo artist, is what we do. Uh, uh, very expressive, super sick. He's got some more of his stuff back here. Uh, this Jimmy's pretty cool. And the Elon Musk is sick as hell, too. Look at this. Look at that, Jimmy. <sighs> Super sick. Super sick. As you can see, these are the actual paintings. That's This is original right here. Um, Look at that Elon. That is just something and, um, super sick. Let me be used, God, for your glory. Because my story is for your glory. Um, Damn, super sick. Thank you. Super sick stuff. The guy right here, Seth. This is the last Reawaken America tour. I thought I would take you a tour down my life and how I'll be back. We should, um, my dad, we should talk I and collaborate on some stuff. If you're doing this, this and I'm doing this. And then my okay, dad awesome. uh, ended up hitting me. Okay, the Elon. And, uh, awesome, dude. was a meth addict. So back in the 80s, it was called Crank, and that's what... I grew up in. I grew give it up one in more a walk around. environment. A uh, rat infested home. Uh, my earliest childhood memory was when I was five years old. And then your email. Uh, and then your email. And then your email. And then your email. Take a shortcut. I did not know Jesus during this time. So I was a uh, really um, scared little girl at home. Uh, my dad ended up, I'll probably be I'm very transparent and very honest. Uh, my dad had me smoking bombs in the sixth grade. I was in seventh grade. I took my last bomb hit in seventh grade. I ended up living with her for three years and that wasn't good either. Um, but my dad died in that, in that time. Excuse me. I was 14 and he was 39 years old when he died. And I blamed myself. I thought um, I wasn't there to take care of my dad and him losing me. I blamed myself. So I went on a downward spiral of not wanting to live. Um, I got kicked out from my biological mom's account when I was 16 and I um, uh, she told me that I was not going to graduate, that I'd live on the streets, and that I'd become pregnant. And so everything within me was to prove her wrong. And I guess that's kind of how I am still to this day, is if you say, I can't, I'm going to figure out how I can't. And, uh, thank you. And so, um, OK, that was a walk around. We can leave. We just can't come back. Yeah, yeah. I would love to, Casper. All right.
are a disembodied spirit. And so they are going to embody it. Somebody who just came here, they don't know we're coming there tonight, but you do. And be, why? Because you yeah. announced it. So now, if you want to meet up with a bunch of great patients, how many of you met some sane people so far this weekend? You met some sane people? Who was at the uh, Tampa Reawaken Americans or Tampa? People were telling me the Tampa and the Tulsa Reawaken That's the side. <laughs> John's got the new GoPro. Hi, this is uh, this is Trey. This I'm is Darren. Darren. This is Julie. She hates being on film, but there she is. Here's John. I'm on this side now. Here's John, and uh, we're here. This is what the Reawaken America event looks like. Just a few weeks before they defraud the election again, we're hoping that they get busted this time and that very, very bad things happen to them. This is Skyler right here. Skyler is... Uh, Skyler, he's probably up to something, but we're not going to ask. We're just going to assume. And there's something very, very clever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, anyhow. That's Trey Smith. This is behind this is the scenes. scenes. If anybody else wants to cover this, please do, because I'm going to be putting out information that I've never put out before, okay? Answering your question relates to this. Instead of me responding to the USA Today, who's trying to reach me, I could give a flying flip about that garbage fake news. I want to focus our attention on those that are putting out the truth. All right. Please gather around. We're gonna go ahead and start. Are you starting? Where? Right from right. Right here. here. Okay. You got the best spot. All right. Um, interesting. He always gets my 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 videos deleted. Deep State Marauder. Relax, relax. Well, he has my phone number. Yeah, Darren's got it. All right, Jordan, let's do it. This is Ivan. What's up, Karen? You got my Jordan. got to really get in there. Oh, my God. Yeah. I have it. I could barely find his place. I don't know how I found his place. I don't know how I found it. Hold on, hold on. I need stuff. Yeah, since you're local, hey, hey. Uh, I'm talking to you. Get your Twitter. Get open your Twitter. I'll connect it. How? I'll just connect it to mine. All right. There's not live streaming. Is there? Yeah, some people. Yeah, some people. I'm live streaming. Oh, okay. You're already on. Yeah. Okay. So we're live. Yeah. We're live. Welcome to the Reawaken America Tour. My name is Noel Fritch with National File. I am a North Carolinian. I publish the National File. National File, if you live in North Carolina, if you've heard of North Carolina, we're the guys who took out Cal Cunningham. 
All right, Cal Cunningham, the defeat gave us a 50-50 Senate. Thank God we needed it because Nancy had the House and Joe had the White House. We are lucky to have Ivan here with us today, and we're going to explain a lot about how we can hold these electoral votes here in the state of North Carolina in 2024 to make sure that we do not lose them. Very brief synopsis. Basically, here's what it boils down to. Every state legislature in the United States, in the Union, has vested in itself the power to directly appoint that state's electors. You heard it. I'll say it again. Every state legislature can literally just convene a, a special session and say, we would like to award our electors to Donald J. Trump, the 45th and now 47th president of the United States. That is possible. That is legal. They have the power to do that. They do not want you to know that they have the power to do that. And so that is why we are here today. That is why we have a constitutional attorney, Ivan Raiklin, and he is going to walk you through some of this, and you can read it at nationalfile.com. Ivan's going to explain further, and without further delay, Ivan Raiklin. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Noel. So just a little bit more before I go into the details. National File is the publication that broke the Ashley Biden diary story. Okay? It is the publication that broke broke Mike Pence. Why? Because of the work and kind of describing the constitutional process of the Electoral Count Act, the Tenth Amendment, the Twelfth Amendment, the Tenth Amendment, Article Two, Section One, Clause Two, back in 2020, when they conducted the illegal election of 2020 into the Fed surrection setup, where Mike Pence presided over that Fed surrection without a quorum. National File reported on it, was the first publication to go into all details, okay? That's why when USA Today or Raw Sewage or Washington Compost calls me, texts me, tries to communicate with me, they have proven to me that they are epic disastrous failures, neophytes, I got no time for them. I only have time for critical thinkers that are willing to withstand a barrage from the communists to put the truth out. That's you guys. So, kudos to you and National File. Now, we're in North Carolina. We're what? Two and a half weeks away from November 5th. Everybody's concerned. How do we address the 23 out of 25 majority counties, or majority Republican voting counties, that were just decimated in Western North Carolina? Because if you take those counties out of the equation, 25 counties is 25% of the 100 counties in North Carolina. 25% of the electoral system in North Carolina was decimated. What does that mean? And help me out here. Does that mean the postal services in those counties are probably running at a much lower capacity level? Absolutely. Does that mean that there are, may, may have been ballots and registration paperwork destroyed in the process? It was. Does that mean that certain folks not only were killed from being able to vote, some argue similar, depending on the theory you believe, similar to how Mr. Cuomo in New York murdered and slaughtered in nursing homes the preponderance of conservative Republican voters that are elderly so that they get genocided through the, remember the pandemic? He genocided many people. Well, what's to say, regardless of theory, right? Many people died, families were disrupted, destroyed, and their focus is now to conduct recovery and humanitarian assistance and get their life back in order. Amidst all of that, U.S. Postal Service, um, the registration documents, the ballots, this is impacting the election in North Carolina in this election cycle. So then it begs the question, how do we how do we resolve this? Because this is a calamity. There's very simple constitutional ways to do that. If 
You heard my speech. I kind of ta talked about a little bit. But I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. The state legislatures, meaning they're run by the Speaker of the House, Tim. Tim Moore. Moore. And the Senate President, run, who's the Lieutenant Governor, runs the Senate. The way we ran elections for President and Vice President early in our country's history, it wasn't by popular vote. It was by the legislative body. Imagine this side of the room is the State House. This side of the room is the State Senate. You convene on election day to say, hey, we allocate our electors for president and vice president to whoever you decide to vote for. And then you send that to the federal Congress. That law is still on the books known as Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2. So of all the 50 states. Wait, where is it again? Say it again. Article, Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2, 212. It's in the Constitution. Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2. It's law. So if Elon Musk has been saying he wants to make sure that the Constitution is followed, Elon, listen closely, sir. Respectfully, read it. Learn it. Understand it. Have your legal team read it. Learn it. People that you trust and don't take it from me. Have them read it and advise you on it. Joe Rogan, do the same thing. Contact your most trusted lawyer that you know. Read it, learn it, understand it. The precedent is there as recently as 2000. Recent article written by National File goes into the details of all the recent precedent that will debunk anybody saying that, oh, we can't do it this way. You're taking the vote from the people. We We're not taking can. the vote from the people. We're taking the vote away from machines, we're taking the vote away from software, we're taking the vote away from illegals voting, we're taking the vote away of the foreign interference from happening, we're taking away the dirty voter rolls from being used, we're taking away every single layer of fraud, deceit, corruption, manipulation, as well as addressing the 25 counties that were just decimated from participating in this 2024 election cycle. How? 100, we know that there are 120 registered voters in the state house in North Carolina. Actually 118 since there are two vacancies in the house. We know that there are 50 registered voters in the Senate totaling 160, or what is that, 168 because of the two big yeah, pretty interesting. I we know. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Trey, Julie, everybody, let me take a walk out to the side. Yeah, they're in a park. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me there, guys, I'm going to go to the other side. Uh, well, keeping an eye on the federal government, or she was going to <laughs> what do we come on your show? But they didn't. What's going on? What's going on? Let's take a step out in the wild side over here. the naughty area. That's run up my nostrils. I know. I know. I can get up on YouTube like Freddy get That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> exactly what happened on the election and following. And it's okay to get a few details wrong, but you can just tell us step by step what will occur. And uh it just came right. Okay, Donna is gonna interview Trey now. There they are. 
And you're welcome if you want to come on this we're side. We're going to walk around both sides. Yeah. I'm not the Think about the problem. President Donald J. Trump will retire the four dynastic families that have ruled Washington, D.C. for the last half century. We are going to retire the Clinton, the Bushes, the Obamas, and the Cheneys. And it is going to be you that does it. So, North Carolina, keep putting foot to ass in the United States of America. I'm not going to bend the knee. You're not going to bend the knee. I'll say you on January 20th when we inaugurate President Donald J. Trump in our 47. Okay, well that was the first day. That was a lot. Uh, we're actually getting out of here a little early. 